Okay, let's oh, let's keep God. this going. All right, we're we're trying to trying to get, get our, our giggles in control back. after oh, Russell Crowe's fuck. amazing, amazing musical making number, making movies, making, making songs, songs, and fighting around the world. I love Russell. So do I. Well, did you hear about the thing that happened um, like last year? No. It was it was about it's a side. It, it Russell's involved. But I'll just tell you the full story quick. Yeah. I feel bad for anyone who hasn't seen the last episode of this now. And they're yeah. like, why the fuck are they talking about Russell Crowe? <laughs> Trust me. Go back and watch the last episode. Taga. <laughs> and just just wait till the end when Russell Crowe comes you up ever, and you'll understand the transition into this. Have you ever seen a tugboat shoot itself in the smokestack? Well, if anyone listened to Russell Crowe's music, yes. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 and he just couldn't drown out the noise. Anyway, <laughs> he anyway. He couldn't get away from the dock. Because he was tied to the dock. Oh, and he pulls out like a cartoon gun with cartoon hands. Yep. Anyway, anyway, let me, let me get to the rest of the I think story. Walt Disney had some, some say on that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I and think he, just, he did. I think he did. He's I'm just not taking the boat along like fucking Steamboat Willie. That was one Willy. of the original Mickey's. Steamboat Willie was yeah, the first Mickey. Steamboat Willie, yeah. Anyway, yeah. come on, come on, yeah. come on. No Phoenix, no Phoenix, no Phoenix. Okay. Oh, fuck me, new weapon. Let's take a look. This is what I wanted. Why do you keep going to start, man? <laughs> I'm so used to start being the option menu in yeah. games. I'm not used to why, okay? Yeah. Anyway, let me tell you the story while I take a look at the new weapon. You mean select. Actually, no, that's a PS2 controller that's select. That's what, back? Yeah, back on back, here. Back, yeah, okay. Anyway, let me get his fucking new weapon in. Air. God, that face. I just want to hit it. God, it looks like his right eye's a bit lazy. <laughs> You're such a dick. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying it looks like that. Fuck what? Look at that. Sh look, look. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, my name. My name's Hope. Like... Go ahead and, like, carry a conversation like your hope for a moment. Like, for ten seconds. Go ahead. I don't think I could. Okay, well, fine. I'll just do everything then. Oh, oh baby, can, can I make you a sandwich? Can, can I make you a sandwich? What That's the like fuck is up with this kid? Be like, like, well, he's like, oh, yeah, I'll make you a sandwich. Just please don't hit me again, Mother Lightning. What the fuck is wrong with you? I haven't touched you once. <laughs> Mother Lightning. Well, he's treating her like a mama figure. Okay, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Oh, damn it. He loses 10 strength, but he gains, like, 77, 78, 79, 81, 82, 6 magic. An unofficial amateur competition model. Wait, so the weapon he's used, designed with balanced performance in mind, this boomerang deliberately avoids the extreme characteristics of comp a competitor model. Wait, are these toys he's using? Probably. Is he fighting with toys? Probably. An official amateur competition model utilizes magic AMP technology. Okay, just because I kind of want to see it, I'm going to give it to him. But we're going to have a talk about this later. Because I, as a Ravager, he uses magic, so I'm not really yeah. torn up about anything. Anyway, blockbuster Russell Crowe story time. Okay? <laughs> making movies, making just stars. give me a moment to tell you this story, okay? Yeah, give me go. a moment. Go. It involves, it, <clears throat> it involves the Irwin family. Never panic. Calm heads make good decisions. Thank you, Lightning. It involves the Irwin family. God rest his soul. John Oliver, Russell Crowe, and Blockbuster. Hmm. Now, anyone who's watched... Um, uh, uh, Late Night Tonight with John Oliver, I think it's called, or something like that. I can't remember what it's officially called. It's on HBO, though, so... Most people probably haven't, because no one wants to pay for HBO, and I don't want to either. I just watch it on YouTube. Anyway, it was a story about the very last blockbuster that was around. There was still a blockbuster around a year ago. I think it is still around. It's in Alaska. Hmm. So, it's the very last blockbuster, and the guy who owned it... Um, it was either he wanted to fill it with memorabil movie memorabilia, or it was that it was slowly dying, and John Oliver was like, we can't let this... Fucking A-Lightning, nice shot. And I didn't even see his new boomerang. Fuck, I didn't pay attention. But it was like something involving the blockbuster and me movie memorabilia. Mm. Russell Crowe was hosting a celebrity auction of a bunch of his movie memorabilia... Like, stuff from Gladiator, stuff from a bunch of his movies, stuff from uh, Les Miserables and all that. John Oliver went out and purchased the actual jockstrap loincloth diaper thing he wore that Russell Crowe wore in Gladiator. Mm. And one of the best remarks I heard is, the price was a bit high, but that's because I'm assuming he never washed it. Now that I said that, I pray to God he never washed it. 
and it just so happened that when they were doing it, they uh, they got it and they gave it to the Blockbuster so they, they could put it in the Blockbuster and it's like, this will make sure you don't go out of business. You'll have the very same, um, whatever the fuck it's called that he wore in Gladiator. Yeah. You're going to be set and good. Now, I don't remember if... Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no! Are hope? you serious right hope? now? No, you can't hope. You're very <clears throat> disappointing me right now. God damn it, Hope. I, 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 you were doing well for a while, I'll give you that. But then I got too involved in my story. Anyway, let me continue it, because, like I said, the checkpoints are good in this, so I'm sure, yeah, I'm just literally right in front of it. And, let's see, that thing I opened is... Uh, fucking wherever. I don't care if he has the fucking weapon now or not. Anyway, so, Russell Crowe donated all of it. And I think with the money he got, he donated it to the um, Australian Zoo or one of the foundations it has, which, you know, the Australian Zoo, the Irwin family, you know, that's where they work and do all their stuff. Mm. So I believe it was they got word of how much that uh, John Oliver spent on the weird-ass fucking loincloth jock thing, whatever that Russell Crowe wore. And they sent out a personalized video to John Oliver like, John, we would like to thank you for all the money you donated to the Australian Zoo and for helping the... And I forget what it was. It was like some terminal disease thing for koalas. Mm. Or some venereal disease. I think it was like koala herpes or something. I can't remember off the top of my koala head. Koala herpes. Right? Yeah. And apparently it is a very serious thing that affects koalas. Mm. And he said... And John was like, you know what? This is something I've worked my entire career for. You know, it, it wasn't the news that I bring to you. It wasn't the comedy. It was never any of that. It was so that at the Australian Zoo, I can be the main name on the Koala Herpes Ward. This has been the goal, folks. Damn. So because of John Oliver and Russell Crowe, there is now a ward for venereal diseases for koalas in the name of John Oliver in Australia. Uh, I oh, did, oh did you fuck. actually did you actually beat that one though? What beat him? Get past that one? Yeah. Oh yeah. I still didn't look at the fucking boomerang. I got two and twelve. Nah, fuck! Turn around, guy. I'll... So this is a forest. I'm wondering what the fuck is with that right there. Jeez. Ah, fuck. We're gonna have to do this head on. Hope for the love of God. Understand what's about to happen. I've got this light, and he just gets his fucking arm gnawed off in the first three minutes of the fight. I could easily see that happening. Okay, I already have info on you, so I'm not even going to waste my time with it. Jesus Christ, dude. I finally looked at the boomerang. It looks more like a fucking weird-ass bent purple sword thing. You want to know what it looks like? It looks like the the purple thing from uh, <laughs> the, the showers in uh, San Andreas. Is, uh, ah, yes, Eduardo. It looks like Eduardo. He's made his return. With curry. Smells like curry. Where was that from, that line? Smells like curry? Yeah. Um, oh, that was from a... Uh, 41-year-old virgin that knocked up Sarah Marshall. Sarah Marshall and and felt, felt really super, super bad, bad about it. it. <gasps> Smells like curry. Mm -hmm. uh, one there of the you dumber. are, Fernando. No. no, remember he pulled... You know how I know you're gay? You got a dildo on You got a dildo on your ass. What? Fucking and then just... Pulls it just pulls it out just with a... Oh! There you are, Fernando! Yeah. Smells like curry. That movie is so horrible, so badly produced. The effects are just shit. Mm, but but it's my so funny. god. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. This is why we carry him, Light. The other uh, thing with that, too. It's such is, a shitty movie, but I do enjoy it. Is, uh, what's his name? The guy that's actually. The main guy. The main guy. He's actually somewhat famous. He's, he's done movies he's before. He's famous, but oh, he's fuck. actually... Oh, 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 God. Uh, he, I should have seen that coming. But he's actually, like, an asshole Sorry. in your life. I've heard he's kind of a dick. <laughs> he's an asshole. Like, he was on, um... What is it? He well, was I, on... He's not an asshole where he's purposely trying to be a no. dick, but, he, like, when he gets angry, he becomes a real Yeah, he's a fucking a asshole. Yeah, when he's angry with I him. just said he's not just a normal... Okay, see, I like this. The checkpoint system in this game is very good. I think I've said that before. If I've said shit, I guess I'm taking it back. Can't just rush into this I died. So are you taking them on again? It's not the first one, right? No. Okay. Yeah, this game has a very good checkpoint system. I was system. gonna say, that's fucking It's stupid. very... Yeah, this is very good checkpoint. If it was Dark Souls, I would have been screwed a while ago. Yeah. 
No, but with God that, damn, like you're filleting them. He was the the uh, reporter, news reporter for uh, er, in um, Division Three's Football's Finest with Andy Dick. Really, he's yeah. been in a few movies like that. Yeah. I um. What else was he in as of late? He was in a. Uh, fuck, this thing's pissed off. I'm making try and full health again. Game? He was. He's been in some actual serious it's Brian like, comedies. It's Brian. Like, something. wasn't he on like one of those like comedies you see on Fox or ABC? That's like Modern Family, All in the Family. A lot of shows that have family in the word. I feel like he was in one of those. Like he's. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a decent actor. Acting wise, he's decent. I don't think he's. I don't think he's the greatest in the world or or horrible. He's definitely not horrible. He's he's decent. I think when he smiles, it looks kind of odd, but odd in a good way. Whoever whoever the dude is we're talking about, we're he seems like a charming fella. Get some. Is that what? Uh, fuck. That's want, what Andy Dick. Do says. you want to talk about Andy Dick? Dude, okay, hang do on. Do you want to no, talk about No, because that's Andy a Dick. that's a thing for another day. Fucking. <laughs> that's that's an episode. That's all another. Episode. That's an episode that'll be entirely dedicated to Brian Andy Dick. Brian Callen. That's what it is. Yeah. Brian Callen. Oh, he has a normal smile there. He looks a bit like fucking, like, he looks a little bit like Jim Carrey. Not Jim Carrey, I'm, uh... And we're gonna have to call it when you get out of this, so... Really? Yeah. We're not gonna walk through the magical door. Here, let me get through the door first and we'll save it, okay? Let's get you your save point because yeah, I know that's you a want idea. it. Okay, okay. Let he me walk in, into the magical door. He was in door. Hangover School. He was in the Hangover? He was in Hangover School, Hangover 2. He was in Old School. He was in Ride Along. Jesus, what the fuck is this thing? Bad Santa. Yeah, he was in bed. <laughs> Look at Hope. He's like, okay, I'm done. Scary movie four. Yep, yep. <laughs> I love how it's like, we did ditch them all. We only knew them for like a day. And that's about it. From well, what we Sean, did. look up. Yeah. We're, this is a very important cutscene for Hope. He's going through the... his bipolar disorder again. Yeah, was this the save point? Resist thing? or surrender. Well, no, they're, they're leaving. They're getting away. They're running. They're not surrendering. They're running away. He's still alive. Yes, Snow is still alive. We just went through running on the beach with him. Him. He's too stubborn to die. We're the <laughs> these two just hate him with a passion. I love that. From the get go, thinks he's everybody's pal. Never liked him much. Well, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Gang called Nora. Oh God. I don't fucking know, kid. Acronym. Their little code stands for no obligations, no obligations. Or authority. Oh, fuck. He's Edgelord. The king of the edges. Oh, yeah, I'm the edgy kid we all know. Hope, just get through the fucking portal. Just while he's walking, you just see lightning just whip him in the back of the head. Get the <laughs> fuck through the portal, kid. Kind of like that vine I seen. Freaking. Is it a Vine or a video? No, Vines a have been meme. dead for it's four years. It's a meme. It's a meme. Okay. Why can't they? Come? Well then. Yeah. Now that we're done talking about how much we fucking hate snow, why don't we? Uh, why don't we continue on our path here? Yep. Jesus Christ. I understand these two don't like him, and Saz and Vanille, they don't really have like Vanille's okay with everybody, mm. but Saz is more like, I guess we're buddies now. Yep. Snow's like <laughs> lightning and st lightning and hope are my friends. <laughs> fucking stupid all right all right well let's when we come back we're gonna take the elevator and find our way through this fucking woods later guys bye bye